This video is sponsored by Pokedownstore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety up on their website, including the new battle style set. So definitely check out the website and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. How wonderful is that? Even uh, yeah, for the stuff like uh, Reshazard codes, Mew Mew codes, Luke Metal codes, Eternatus codes, Zacian codes, League Battle decks, you name it. Be sure to check out the website. It's awesome. Also, check out uh, cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell uh, cards to people all across Europe, which is actually very wonderful. And you can uh, yeah, just go on the website by clicking that link, the affiliated link in the description. You're going to be helping me out a ton. Anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm already hyped up. Hopefully, you guys are hyped as well. Peace! What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel today. We have a one prize archetype up on the menu, it's the rogue deck, it's Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Ball juggling, 10 damage and discard any number of item cards that have the word ball in their name and then you should have 40 additional damage. So uh, with copies of Cherish Ball in here, Great Ball, the newly reprinted Level Ball, we have Poke Ball and as well, uh, yeah, the wonderful Quick Ball by our side. We have enough uh, damage output for sure. We also have Yampered, which is able to uh, put a Poke Ball and a Great Ball back from the discard pile into our hand if we slap it down. We have some Scoop Up Nets to work along with that. We have two copies of Snorlax, so uh, Gormandize keep coming to play. We also have Bird Keeper and there's uh, two copies of Surge because we do have Ball Guy. If we're able to play two Ball Guys, that's uh, six Ball Engine cards instantly from the deck. So it's going to be awesome. So we have Capture Energy. So uh, sometimes two Capture Energies can uh, require the Ball Juggling effect. Other than that, uh, we just rely on Triple Accelerated Energy or Twin Energy. But the uh, uh, Capture Energy is in here because all of our Pokemon have a Retreat cost of one. And uh, that's actually going to be helping us out to get Snorlax in the active position to use Gormandize on the very couple of first turns. So uh, hopefully this deck will work out. It's a... Uh, some sort of a budget deck, the only uh, expensive card is like Orcoreo, I think. Other than that, uh, it should be quite easy to get a hold of these cards. And this is a one price archetype, hitting weakness against stuff like um, Santa Scorch for uh, VMAX against uh, Victini VMAX, which also sees an uptick in play. So we'll see what this uh, rogue archetype can bring us for uh, gameplay today. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the daily Pokemon TCG content. If you are enjoying the content, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think and uh, yeah let's just get this video started hopefully we will see some fire matchups because those are typically favorable the only thing we're looking for is like tag team matchups or v-maxes seeing as we are a deck that wants to uh, prey on multiple prize pokemon and try to one shot them very similar feel to blacephalon in some way because instead of finding fire type energies in hand we just need to find ourselves ball cards so uh hopefully we find some pokeballs and great balls early on uh, because those are uh yeah we immediately start with a snorlax which is actually not bad at all we can then use galarian mr rhyme capture energy and uh, go from there so uh, we start first anyhow so that's awesome we have pokeball and great ball and uh, capture energy as well so that's actually not too bad we have triple salary energy to go along with that so the first thing i would do is Hmm, capture energy first, so we get a Pokemon or a Great Ball first because that maximizes our chance of finding a Pokemon. We have a Yamper. I don't know if we need the Yamper just yet. Yeah, the Yamper can wait because I want to have the coming into play effect here. So Pokeball next. Filling around, okay. Next is a, a capture energy, getting ourselves another Galarian Mr. Mime. And uh, there's still a lot of ball cards in here. Not too bad. So what did we play? Two of these, which we can get back with the Yamper. We have Oracorio as well, so we could slap down Oracorio right now and then draw more cards, but it's just uh, fine to just wait with that until the opponent is doing something. And thanks to our Bird Keeper engine, it shouldn't be too hard to find our stuff. We can Bird Keeper and even go for the Danny Jax in this specific scenario. Bird Keeper, Oracorio, the Danny Jax, finding all the ball cards and going crazy. We don't always need to use Quick Balls because those are 40 damage output with one single Yamper. Okay, this could be scary. It's Dracapult in the house. I wonder if he's gonna be going on an attack just yet. He could go for Bite for 30 damage. We could instantly knock this out. Let's just do the damage output. 10 base damage and then 40 for every uh, item card. So we'll uh, need to discard 5 item cards to hit for uh, 210 damage. 5 item cards. Okay, Crushing Hammer is not uh, too bothersome. We will have Triple Accelerator Energy by our side. We have a Boss's Orders as well. So in uh, some scenarios we can like have scoop up that boss knocking out the Dracopole before it's able to like threaten us. He could be playing EXP share which is also a very crazy uh, 
thing in uh, the Dragapult matchup. So this is uh, definitely tier 1 right now, Dragapult. I wonder if we're going to be able to do something about this. He's just leaving this stuck in the active. Okay, we have access to uh, two ball cards right now. We potentially could still retreat. So I think I will just go for Bird Keeper here. Seems like a great deal to me. Okay, there's the Galarian Mr. R Rhyme. We even have two of them. So uh, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Galarian Mr. Rhyme. We have our damage output with the triple salary energy. And we have uh, maybe ways which we can uh, one-hit KO the uh, Dragapult VMAX. So right now, we only need to discard two uh, ball cards. So we're actually going to go for ball juggling. Uh, we will get rid of quick ball and cherry ball. And just simply knock out this uh, annoying Jirachi. Maybe without Jirachi, he might just whiff on supporters. That's just something we can pray for. Ordinary Rot, something uh, to get back Galarian Mr. Rhymes. Could have also used Boss's Orders and the Danny GX and just hope we got something. There's four ball cards in the discard pile. We'll see how it goes. If he goes to attack with Dragapult VMAX, it's gonna be scary. We, we do have the Surge though, so if we're falling behind, we can still go with that. And we still have Gorman Dice as well. And uh, seeing as this guy does have more HP remaining, so we already have the Galarian Mr. Rhyme, which is actually very nice. If he wants to like spread damage on Jirachi, that's also fine, seeing as we still have all, all of our scoop up nets left. And there's the Danny Jax. Uh, getting rid of some hammers. That's the second hammer here. There's Dragapult VMAX. And then now it could be potentially come become scary. Although we do have Surge, so Surge can get like two ball guys. We didn't use any ball guys just yet. He also got hits on the crushing hammers, which is not too uh, troublesome. He also got rid of a boss's orders. Don't know how many boss's orders he is playing. Yeah, instantly targeting down Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme feels threatened right now. I think we will simply go for. Uh, the Snorlax first. Let's hope he whiffs on Marnie next turn. If that is the case, it would be awesome. So we can capture energy here. That seems to be fine to me. Capture energy, getting ourselves. Ooh, yeah. We have this. We hate it. We have the Danny. We have our Corio as well. So we need those next turn. We have the Surge in hand. We have the Yamper in hand. So we'll see what happens. A Gorman dies for only three cards, but those could be very relevant. Okay, or a Choreo, that's pretty nice. Even uh, Jirachi can scout out maybe uh, a ball guy here. Or a Cherish Ball. We'll see who goes. We just need to one-hit kill this Dragapult. Let's just hope the Marnie spree uh, ends right now. Okay, he plays his third copy of the Marnie. Should have smacked down... Uh... Yeah, we have Ball Guy and Quick Ball. Okay, uh, that's not enough damage output, unfortunately. We can attach of turn. Go for Quick Ball the Danny GX and uh, try to uh, find our scoop up nets and just try to just play as many things as possible. We'll see if we're able to get the one hit KO here. Yeah, Galarian Mr. Ram not looking too bright right now. Yeah, probably will draw into like more stuff later. So for now, <laughs> double ball guy. If we find Surge, that's gonna be huge. Oh, how can we make sure we can get there? Stellarush? Cherish Ball gets ourselves. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, first things first, slapping this down. Next up, Cherish Ball. Or Choreo. Yeah, or Choreo and the Danny need to show up ASAP. It's the only way. Quick Ball, let's get rid of this. The Danny GX. How many Ball guys in here? Two ball guys left, okay. I think I will go for that approach. <laughs> if we would have gotten uh, Surge out of this, but Surge and Scoop Up is a little bit much to ask for. So let's just get rid of these two cards, find ourselves. A couple of ball cards, a Yamper as well. Okay, a Yamper as well. Now we need to find like Scoop Up net, right? Okay, there's a the Surge. Surge. Yamper. Getting Pokeball and Great Ball back. So we have one, two, three, four, five. It's 210 damage. 
Ball guy can get us over the edge, but we'll have to go for this scenario, bird keeper. <laughs> okay, and now the ball guy activation. One, two, and probably the quick ball or level ball, doesn't matter at this point. Doesn't matter at this point, although, yeah, this is fine. Check, 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 check. Okay, how much damage do we need to do? Uh, for this guy, we need to slap ball juggling for a whole heap of damage. So that is going to be 40, 50. So uh, we're going to have to do the math here, ball juggling. 50, 90, 130, 170, 210, 250, 290. And uh, yeah, enough damage. Let's go, ball juggling. Boom. And we also get knocked out, which is okay. Thanks to the horror psychic energy, we get knocked out. He gets a prize card. That's how it goes. Let's hope he doesn't have boss's orders, otherwise it could turn out pretty scary. But this has some potential. I know we are up against an unfavorable matchup in the form of Dracapult VMAX. If he doesn't Marnie this turn, we could still do something fun. We have Scoop Up Net, right? And we need to make some room. We have Quick Ball as well. Don't want to be using the Quick Ball. We have Scoop Up Net on the Yampers. So we want to save the Yamper. We have Bird Keeper as well. Bird Keeper as well. So maybe we fetch him the Oracorio, which he's not able to one hit KO. And then we Bird Keeper and do some Scoop Up Net madness. Mm. Or we just give him a Yamper and then slap down something of our own. It all depends on if he has boss or not, right? How many Yampers? We haven't seen any Yampers, so maybe we fetch him the Yamper so we can use Jirachi as the scoop up net engine. Don't know if that was the correct play, so if we don't find our Yamper, it's gonna be scary. Either way, we already have twin energy, so uh, we can quick ball away uh, to find Yamper and then go from there. We also have Bell Ball Guy, by the way. And then we can scoop up the Jirachi instead. We'll see how it goes. We have Oracorio. Oracorio is not going down this turn. Oh, oh, Primate Wisdom. Does he have Eldegos? He already played three Marnies. If we are Marnie proof, we should be okay. If he is playing Marnie, it's gonna be bad. He can uh, not take three prize cards this turn, and we were able to one head KO with Dragapult VMAX, so that's how the deck is uh, operating. So hopefully, you guys are seeing that. We are trying our best with a budget deck here against tier one deck. A recent stab? Oh boy! Oh boy, that's insane. We do have Ball Guy though, so maybe search Ball Guy. <laughs> if he. We... Yeah, we're not gonna be uh, able to use Surge here. Ah, that's super sad. Like, Reset Stamp. Who plays Reset Stamp? Man, you're playing already four Marnies. Like, this is very disruptive with Hammers and all that. And Max Phantom. Unfortunately, we are seeing the KO here. How many boss in there? One. He only has a three card hand though, so... He could spread some damage on Jirachi and the Mime or something, or maybe put five on the Orcorio or just the Danny, yeah, just in general slapping damage across the field. Yeah, we have to promote this because we are in an awkward position. We have a boss. The boss is pretty interesting though. Dance of the Tributes first. Okay, we have Galarian Mr. Rhyme, which is good. That means we won't go down this turn. Okay, we have a Snorlax, we can go for boss, maybe making him stuck in the active, then we get knocked out. Maybe that, he could also Fiona's, which is pretty annoying. We can Ball Guy for a lot of cards, but we can also do that next turn. Stellar Wish, Bird Keeper, or Scoop Up Net. The Quick Ball and the Scoop Up Net gets us uh, a lot of uh, damage output though. Getting the scoop up. I think I'm gonna do something like this. Like we, he might have an energy to retreat. Like how many energies in there? Four, five, six, six energies in play. Four cards in hand. He potentially could Marnie us again. Hmm. Interesting scenario. If we get our uh, Yamper right now, we get. Um, we have scoop up nets. But scoop up that to get this guy at the active position, so that turns into three. Six, six Pokemon is not enough. 
Six Pokemon is not enough to knock out this uh, Dragapult Max. Maybe we do it like this. We scoop up the Jirachi. If he marnies us, it's gonna be uh, sad anyhow, but let's try it out. This again. We cannot play Ball Guy this turn, so maybe we just boss this guy. Or maybe we play um, Ball Guy right now, and then find something like Bird Keeper, and oh, it's not gonna work out. I think we're just gonna. How many balls in our discard pile? <laughs> so many things to think about. Okay, we need to just one hit KO this Dragapult. Okay, fine. Maybe he whiffs on the energy, right? Yeah, maybe. Mm, Gorman dies, let's go. He could have potentially a boss resort and knocks out our mime and then it's all over. But this is our only last resort because right now we have one, two, three, four. With Ball Guy and Yamper, we get there. So we'll see how it goes. He could be playing his last Marnie. He could be playing Elder Ghost for all we know. But he already has three quick balls in this card, pal. So we just try to hope he's stuck. He already wasted Air Balloon. He already wasted a scoop on that. So maybe he's stuck. Maybe we are outplaying him. Maybe he just has boss and it's over all already. Because if he boss... Ooh, attachment. Does he have boss? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed! Yo, oh, we win the game. Okay. That's how we do it. Oh, this is scary. We have ball guy. We don't have to like go for like bird keeper plays or finding our scoop up nets because right now we will have enough. So Mr. Mime in the house. Double Yamper. Yamper Damper. Okay. Two energy over here. Uh, first things first, we ball guy. Do we have enough balls left? I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. Let's just go for Dance of the Tributes first. Cha 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 cha. Okay, we have Surge. Surge, Ball Guy. <laughs> Only for one Pokeball. Fine. This guy. Pokeball, great ball, thank you. This one. Pokeball, great ball, thank you. Scoop up Ned. Look at our deck go, man. Look at this deck go. Rogue Dax for the win. Well played. Here comes the most ball juggling attack in the world. It's like Blacephalon, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like whatever's in the act of BAM! It goes down! Ooh, look at that. Ball juggling winning this Dragon Ball. Have you ever seen anything like it? This is my own personal build, by the way. Try it out for yourself. It's so incredible. So, uh, winning in this Dragon Ball. So, uh, bossing that to Danny. Bought us some turn. Uh, opened the room for a bigger Gorman dice. And uh, that's just perfect. That's how it goes. That is how it goes. This gameplay video is like legitly <laughs> insane. Uh, this is like the first time we're recording with Galarian Mr. Rhyme, instantly seeing success with it. I, I take a lot of time building these decks and I'm, s I'm so glad they're working out instantly. So uh, what is our next opponent? So we want to see VMAX decks. It doesn't even matter if it's Dracapult or not. We just want to see VMAX decks. That's how clear it is. Also the power of Galarian of that uh, Yamper was very strong. We have a uh, capture energy instantly, so it doesn't matter which what uh, with what Pokemon we are starting with. So uh, we also have access to Ball Guy, and Ball Guy also means we have access to Cherish Ball and something like the Danny Jack. So maybe we slap down only one Yamper, so we can save him, then go for a crazy play right there, or just go for Gorman Dies instantly. We could be playing Ball Guy, then go for Pokeball, Pokeball, and uh, like Pokeball and Great Ball, so we can play those down, and then uh, yeah, go from there. Capture Energy should definitely go, maybe we just play the Great Ball first and then the Capture Energy because with Capture Energy we might have a better selection then. Yo, they instantly concede. They're playing a Charizard deck box, so if it was a Welder deck, we would have like crushed it instantly, like <laughs> for real. Galarian Mr. Rhyme loves to see Santa Scorch, loves to see Victini VMAX and those seem to be very popular. I don't know uh, what we can do against the uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX seeing as our bench base is quite tight. Just a similar effect as, as we were playing Salazzle. You could be uh, slapping in a Mew in this list and uh, have yourself a better answer against uh, the Urshi. That is an option or you could just try to go for the Surge Engine because if he takes multiple Pokemon down, the uh, Surge Engine works better. Tails never fails. We're up against ADP, by the way. Uh, let's go first against ADP. Hopefully, they will not have a first turn alter creation, or we will be crying in the corner. He also gets a mulligan. No, mulligans. Extra card. Hopefully, we start with Snorlax. That saves us the trouble. Yo, starting with a Yamper. 
we do have scoop up net, so at least we can uh, go instantly into our uh, Snorlax. <laughs> or we can go charge ball today, but that would be pretty silly. Twin energy already. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting for sure. We quick ball away. Hmm. Quick ball away this. We do have bazillion level balls, but I actually want to have the attach of the turn already, unless he's playing hammers. Should be okay, right? Cherish ball. What? They're all priced? Well, I should have known. Yeah, it's gonna be top deck of essential. We should have actually gotten Snorlax, but if we didn't get an attacker off this turn, it would have been bad anyhow. <laughs> what? Both Oracorio and the Danny as prized? Well, at least with Alter Creation, we do have some time on our hands. Although we need to KO the ADP before it is able to do anything. Uh, right now we will not be able to do a lot of... With ball juggling we slap 10 damage. Maybe just attaches and an Intrepid Swords. Maybe he Marnies. Like imagine. Like Marnie this turn would be huge. Although we do have Glary Mr. Rhyme. I actually should have checked with that Quick Ball if the Danny Jax was in the deck or not. That's just my mistake. Otherwise this could have been in Snorlax so we could have used the... Uh, Gorman dies for a lot of cards right now. We're just hoping that the top deck will be something like Bird Keeper or Ball Guy. Any of those will do right now. For slapping the Zation is a little bit hard. I think we need six uh, Ball cards. And uh, for the ADP, that's seven Ball cards. That's a whole leap to ask for. Okay, he's using the research, maybe whiffs on a couple of puzzle pieces. Already three metal energies in the discard pile. Energy spinner does find himself the water type energy. It's even the hard gold soul silver energy. Perfect. So if we lose, it's because I was a dummy and uh, thought the Danny Jax was in my list. I know there's only Orokori on the Danny in here because tight bench face and uh, yeah, deck space in general. Also, if we go down, he might not have enough stuff. He already wasted four energy, so he might have like saucers and stuff. Probably not gonna be, yeah, there's Crobat. Boof. If we get ourselves Ball Guy, we might do some stuff. We don't have the Danny Jack, so it's gonna be very hard. If we don't get stuff going next turn, yeah, he's gonna slap the Danny you now. Is he gonna go try to go for first turn Alter Creation? It's pretty risky seeing as he already wasted five metal energies. Doesn't find energy switch. Does he find energy switch instantly? Does his plan work out? His plan worked out. Well, if we top deck something terrible, we have to scoop here. There's no other way. He went through like half of his deck and there's like four energies in his discard. Cherish ball. If only we did then it was in the list. <laughs> We're gonna give him a smiley face and let's just get the hell out of here while we still can. ADP racking us. Because of us, our prize cards. If only we gotten the Danny off. Although first turn ultra creation is very hard to deal with because typically ADP takes like three prize cards at once, knocking out the Danny. And if he uh, we go down on prize cards, is it only gonna be like uh, the turn before we lose? So Lieutenant Search st strategy will not work in this specific matchup. But it did work against Dracopol though. So we thought that Dracopol played quite the lesson that uh, don't underestimate one prize dex. Okay. I also love the fact that we bumped into a horse psychic energy to still be behind in prize cards. That was like perfect. And Solemn Sim is our opponent. Psychic coin. Another Dragapult Pokemon player. They're calling the coin flip. We lost the coin flip. No. Okay. Well. All those ball engine cards. So breaking with this deck is very hard unless everything's prized, but yeah, maybe we should include like an additional draw supporter. Oh, Rapid Strike Urshifu with Dragapult. That's even more terrifying than I imagined. Okay, we already proved in game one that we were able to do at least something. So the video is already a success, but Rapid Strike Urshifu with, without the Mew. We'll see if that is even a thing for us. Let's just try it out. Technically, we have two wins because that first opponent also gave up. Man, these hands are brutal. Just get another Yamper. We have Capture Energy, so that turns into a Snorlax. Pokeball, Pokeball, then Cherish Ball. So at least we can do something with that. 
We can actually go for Pokeball, Pokeball, scoop up another Pokeball. And then Cherish Ball to Danny. Or, let's see if the Pokeballs work and we uh, can simply rely on uh, Snorlax. Not too bad. Let's just start this off. Pokeball. Correct. Okay. Pokeball. Mr. Mime. Mime. This one. Pokeball. In the house. Fails this time around. Okay. Uh, sure. Capture energy Snorlax. We could then scoop him up later. Retreating. I actually want to have that Pokeball back now that I'm honest, because maybe we can get another Mr. Mime up. You never know. Let's go. No, we do not. If he's if he has Gust, it's gonna be all over. We can go for the Danny GX. It's not gonna be mattering too much. He could have like, attached Boss. That that is legitimately an option. If we Gorman dies, we're gonna be behind in prize cards though, so we can save ourselves some turns. Didn't do anything this turn. Let's just go for it. You never know. If he has the boss, we lose instantly. But Rapid Strike Urshfu is a spread archetype. Uh, Dragapult is a spread archetype. So maybe he doesn't have boss at all. And we're good to go. Ooh, the fan. Quick ball. The Dene. <laughs> Gets rid of research though. Okay, he gets Urshi. Come on, will we survive? We have ball guy, ball guy, double ball guy. The only thing we we are missing like cherish ball uh, or choreo, finding lieutenant surge with that and then going utterly crazy. Okay, no the Danny Jacks and a Marnie even. So this is gonna be hard. We get power planted. So uh, without the effect of the Danny Jacks, I think it's gonna be very hard going through the rest of this matchup. Okay, Jazz Hold. We still survive though. So Snorax could still be doing some stuff. Twin energy, three ball Pokemon right there. We can still draw into scoop up nets, I think. If he doesn't Marnius, it should be good. Okay. This is pretty interesting. We still need to hang on to all of our cards. Stellar Wish is pretty nice. Brr, quick ball away the energy. Finding ourselves. Yeah, these will be so painful not to use. We don't have any, uh, some sort of like getting rid of the power plant. So didn't even know people were playing so many power plants right now. We could uh, attend right now, but we're not gonna do it. We are simply not gonna do it. Hopefully, we draw into like a good card. Bird Keeper or something. Bird Keeper, Yamper, Scoop Up. Still go for Gormandite, but this guy's probably playing like four copies of Marnie. Also, this guy's getting ready for the Rapid Strike party. This guy can just go for Jet Assault knocking us out for just one prize card. I, I, I could have attached here and then go for another Gormandite, but then we would have lost an energy. Again, Elder goes Marnie, right? Elder goes Marnie. Keep on Marnieing me. Oh, research. Doesn't go for Marnie this time. Research. Yeah, this is gonna be painful just because power plant is in play. So no Dedane, no Oracorio. So maybe including one copy of Crobat V could be nice in this specific list. I don't know how you guys feel about that. There's a Dragable V Max. We'll be able to KO it once again. I doubt it. Yeah, there's the Max Phantom. Going all the way, and this guy's having the rapid strike ready to knock out two of the Galarian Mr. Rhymes. And they only have 110 HP. Which is super scary. Yeah, the only thing we can do is hope for that he doesn't have like switch and rapid strike Urshifu. Because we're never gonna get, even if we get search, we cannot get a uh, hand advantage right now. Go for capture energy. Capture energy, finding ourselves another one of these and just uh, try to Gorman dice. We also can play a great ball if we want to. Great ball, yeah, these are so sad. So sad. Yeah. More Pokeballs than Great Balls. Yampers, there's only already two Yampers in there. That's super scary. Yo, 
ball guy, lots of cards. We will go to a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not enough, barely not enough. Okay, escape rope. Yeah, escape rope is f crazy because now he's gonna take multiple prize cards thanks to this guy. We did, we're able to get three Mr. Mimes out this turn, so at least the Rapid Strike Urshifu is not gonna take down our entire team. If we would top deck, yeah, it doesn't matter. We are Power Plan. Power Plan uh, is winning the game for him. Unless we top deck like... Seven, eight, nine, okay. We need to top deck a Galarian, a Yamper. <laughs> a Marnie, no, that's game right there. There's no way we can uh, pull ourselves back from the Marnie with all of our uh, draw support being locked thanks to Power Plant. So maybe one Swell is also a nice idea. I doubt we will be able to get this. We do have Capture Energy, so maybe we can try to do some funky stuff. And the Rapid Strike will KO both of our attackers next turn anyhow. Brrr. Okay, let's try it out. We can still have hope. Capture energy. Yeah, these would be fine. If we were able to find some stuff. Yeah, capture energy doesn't work on this guy. Okay, let's try this out. A stellar wish. An ordinary rod, are you for real? Ordinary rod is not something we didn't need. We could try it out to put a yamper back. Like double Yamper's back, Yamper, this guy. If we draw into Yamper, it would be good. Let's go. Bird Keeper, Chaka. We have the boss's orders. Cherish Ball would be so nice right now. But we don't have Galarian, if we, let's see here. Mr. Rhyme, what is our damage output to be honest? Yamper Pokeball this. Scoop up that Yamper Pokeball this. So we get to a total number of one, two, three, four, five out of being Marnie's. But that's just well played. There's no way around it. He has that Rapid Stack Urshifu ready already. But we were able to win against Dracopole on round one. So I'm glad. Uh, we're actually going to be uh, closing this video off right now. Hopefully you guys are going to be trying out Galarian Mr. Rhyme. It's a fun budget deck. Not tier one for sure. But sometimes you can squeeze out those perfect games. Were you able to get anything? Be careful of Power Plant, so maybe add in Chaotic Swell. Be careful of Rapid Strike Urshifu, so maybe add in Mew. If you find a room for it, be sure to let me know which cards you're going to be cutting. Also check out our sponsors, PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Use the coupon code ZABDOSTCG for 5% off your next order. Uh, they uh, literally have everything from uh, Zation codes, Luke Metal codes, uh, Mew Mew codes, if you want to be playing some Mew Mew variants, Dracopole codes, the shiny ones, uh, Crowback codes, Battle Styles, Booster Pack codes, everything you might need is up on the website. So use the coupon code ZABLUCCG for 5% off. And there's also some uh, codes we're giving away courtesy of uh, Potan Store. There's two Battle Styles codes up on screen right now. Don't be the greedy one and claim both of them if you're very uh, early on into this video. If you are able to claim them, be sure to let me know what was in the booster packs. And also go check out cardmarket.com. That is the best platform uh, for, of course, European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day. So uh, check out that uh, website by checking out the affiliate link in the description below. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. And we'll be back tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG Madness. I'm out. Peace.